hummingbirds are as nimble in the air as bumblebees, as if they were flamboyant feathered insects. These Costa Rican hummers morse code their way around a verbena bush, veering, swerving, and lurching like a ping pong ball with a mind of its own. But if you want to feel an extra fillip of dizziness as you watch them, lay your eyes on a snowcap hummingbird. That luminous spot atop his drab burgundy body flashes around like a disembodied bit of white neon, anchored by two white spots on the tail that flash like lighthouse signals. When you look down on him bathing, the anchors really jump out at you. Get a close, well-lit look at that drab torso and you'll discover, as so many female snowcap hummingbirds have done, that undertones of green enrich his gleaming claret plumage. There's subtle beauty beneath that phosphorescent crown. The snowcap is pint-sized even for a hummingbird. In fact, he's more pin-sized than pint-sized. The bigger hummers will rest occasionally on these verbena bushes. This rufous-tailed hummingbird, twice the size of a snowcap, can afford to be at his ease. But the snowcaps know they'll be bullied if they sit in a high traffic area, so they go elsewhere to perch. It's the same reason you won't see them at feeders. They just get shunted away by violet saber wings, white-necked jacobins, and green-breasted mangoes. As is usual in the bird world, a female snowcap is as plain as a hummingbird could well be, but her washed out colors are fine with the male. And her philosophy about having such a midget for a mate is that the most precious gifts come in small packages.